Basically, what you have right now in the Senate is a standoff. You have more members of both parties increasingly wanting a vote on the larger stimulus checks, which passed the House last night. But you have the leader of the Senate so far refusing to give that vote a chance. I don't want to hear it that it costs too much to help working families get a check when they're struggling to keep their jobs, pay their families, uh, pay their rent. Democrats today, led by Senator Chuck Schumer, demanded a straight yes or no vote on $2,000 stimulus checks. Senator Bernie Sanders is even refusing to let the Senate vote to override President Trump's veto of a crucial defense bill, which includes a pay raise for troops, unless there's a vote for the larger stimulus checks right after. We have got to raise that direct payment to $2,000. So far, Republican Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell is blocking a vote on the stimulus checks, which many fiscal conservatives in his party oppose. He only wants to move forward on the defense bill. Not once in six decades has a Congress let its differences prevented from completing this work for our national security and our men and women who wear the uniform. But McConnell is starting to feel the pressure from some in the GOP. Missouri Senator Josh Hawley has been calling for $2,000 checks even before President Trump. And since the president began advocating for more money, others have fallen in line. Today, the two senators in those crucial Georgia Senate runoff races, David Perdue and Kelly Leffler, voiced their support. I've stood by the president 100% of the time. I'm proud to do that. And I've said, absolutely, we need to get relief to Americans now, and I will support that. But Leffler and Purdue will still have to spend the final week of the campaign explaining why the Republican majority they're a part of is currently blocking more money for most Americans. Raphael Warnock is running against Leffler and John Ossoff against Purdue. This is why we have to win these Senate races in Georgia. Mitch McConnell and his colleagues in the Senate, they will block the COVID relief that we need. Late this afternoon, President Trump said Republicans should vote in favor of larger stimulus checks unless they have a, quote, death wish. All of this won't get resolved until tomorrow at the earliest, with more senators coming back to Washington from their home states for this rare special session. In Brooklyn, Henry Rossoff, PIX11 News.